Hey guys, welcome back to another Twisted League Progress video. This is episode number four. Going to be doing a lot of Slayer in this episode, but before we move on to that, I've got some easy clues to open up. Hoping to get uh, one of the rope tops. So I'm just going to spam click these and see what I get. Hey, there we go. That is exactly what I wanted. So I've now got a row top and a row bottom for Slayer, which is very nice. Better than the shade robes you can get. Coming in with 1500 total level and 52 Slayer as well, which means I have jellies unlocked. Quite looking forward to getting a task of those because I need a pair of mithril boots for one of the medium clue steps. So hopefully you can get that fairly soon. Just hit 60 Slayer. These Bloodfeld tasks are taking quite a long time. My attack and strength are still fairly low. I think I'm going to get base 70s and then after that just train attack and strength. I think that's going to be the quickest way to get through these melee tasks. But nice little milestone to hit there. There is 80 herb lore for another easy 100 points. I'm trying to keep up with the herb runs and the farming contracts as much as I can. Just because I'm going to be using a lot of prayer potions for Slayer. Because I'm certainly not going to be uh, prayer flicking all my slayer tasks and there are points to be had with the farming contract so definitely want to keep on top of that. So I had a magic tree die me in the farming guild. I figured I would come and get 78 magic because then I will unlock resurrect crops and have a chance to uh, basically revive the seed. It's also a task for one of the diaries. I can't remember whether it's hard or elite. So yeah, thought I would come and unlock that. And obviously we'll come back here for 80 and beyond at some point, but just going to stop there for the time being. Oh, so it isn't a diary task, it's actually a league task. That was a very easy 100 points, not too bad. Alright, it's time for another big clue unboxing. I've got 31 easy clues and 35 hard clues. Overall this is going to take me to 50 easy and hards done in total. From the easies, hoping for the vestment robe bottoms, that would be a nice upgrade. From the hard clues, nothing too specific, just plenty of alcables because I want to start buying broad arrows and they're fairly expensive. Um, otherwise, it would be nice to get some lore runes back because I've basically used all of mine up um, teleporting around to open these clues. But let's start with the easies. All right, those clues were really good for me. So from the hards, the dehyde boots and shield would be really nice. I did forget that I've already got the Robin Hood hat, obviously, so the God Coif isn't too good for me unless I want the prayer bonus. Plenty of lore runes. I didn't really need to worry about getting the uh, 100 or so that I used back. Um, over 400 in total, that's really nice. And from the easy clues, obviously, um, I'll be rocking the full set of Samurai vestments now, which is really nice. Hey, there is 80 thieving, some very easy points there. Figured I would just come back and get this uh, to get a few more charges for my Xerix Talisman and uh, a little bit of crafting XP as well. And I picked up a couple of clues along the way, not too bad. Finishing up 70 crafting as well, so I can now make a power army for Slayer, which will be handy. Just hit 80 range, that's another very easy 100 points. I completely forgot that Greater Demons dropped these Adamant Plate Legs. That's one of the three Addy pieces I need for Medium Clues. And a couple of Brimstone Keys to use. Iron Ore, not too bad. And some Rana Seeds, happy with that. Alright, here is my first Hespori. Can I get anything good? Uh, Iasaur Seeds, I think that's the one that reduces disease chance. So that's okay, I guess. Gonna try and keep up with these every day for the bucket, which I think will be quite handy for my herb runs. And an easy 100 points from 80 hit points. There we go, that is the Forsaken Tower quest done. The rest of the Lover Kenj favour will be very easy using the minecart systems and then it's just Shazian up to 100%. And there is 80 cooking for another 100 points. Alright, so I finished up 100% Shazian favour and finished Architectural Alliance. And this should give me 100k agility XP, which is really nice. 78. I'm going to be using all of my lamps on agility up to 80, just so that I don't have to necessarily go back to Winter Todd to train that. Next up, I think I would quite like to knock out the medium diary, which I need some hunter levels for, so I'm going to try out some aerial fishing. Ended up staying a little bit longer to get 60 hunter. I am going to have to come back at some point for 80, and I want to try my luck at getting the golden tench even though it is very very rare 
and obviously picking up as many mulch pearls as I can for the angler's outfit and the fishing rods. All right, that is the medium diary done. So I think that is a 7,500 XP lamp, which will be scaled up to 75K, I wanna say. Yes, there we go. I should be able to get 80 fairly easily from lamps in that case. Um, if I do the hard diary, which I think would be pretty obtainable, the only things I need to do at the moment for that is get 70 smithing and 65 mining, which wouldn't take too long, otherwise I can probably do the rest of it. All right, it is time to open my first master casket. I'm not 100% confident that I'll be able to take on the mimic if I get one, but if I do, I'll give it a go. Otherwise, let's see what we can get. Hmm. Not a whole lot of useful stuff in there, but that is my first master clue done, which will give me 100 points, not too bad. All right, what about master clue number two? Hey, those soul runes, not too bad actually, I'll take those. Some Ranars as well, can't use the uh, Dragon Scimitar obviously, but that's not, I mean, it's better than the last one at least. Number three. I don't actually know that there's much useful from Master Clues, to be perfectly honest, other than maybe Wines of Zamorak and then a couple of the unique rewards. I really don't think these are good for anything other than points. I could be wrong. I suppose the Mimic Chance, that's definitely worth it. But loot-wise, yeah, I don't think so. I thought my next 99 might possibly be something combat related, but it turns out it's going to be farming. So it's another very nice 250 points. I'll definitely be going for 25 mil experience, possibly 50 at a push. Um, either way, it's very, very fast training. Oh yes, I needed that. 7k C bucket, that's really good. That is going to save me a lot of time making compost because it doubles everything up. And nice that it only takes up one space in the inventory as well. I'm pleased with that. That is a nice milestone, 1750 total level. I think it's 100 points. On the last stretch to 85 Slayer now, so hopefully can get a whip by the end of the episode. All right, it is high time that I unlock broader fletching so that I can make my own broad arrows. It's 300 points. Uh, I've been saving some so that I have plenty for skipping any nasty tasks such as the iron or steel dragons, but that should hopefully save me some money and get me some good fletching XP. And thinking about it, I definitely should unlock superior Slayer monsters. It's 150 points, which is gonna leave me with 60 for a couple of skips and uh, that'll increase my XP per hour ever so slightly and there's always the chance of getting one of those rare drops too for the points. All right, got my very first superior monster, no drop, but Dark Totem top, I will take it. These superiors are absolutely ridiculous. Look at that XP drop. I certainly should have uh, unlocked these earlier. All right, this should be it, the last kill for eight. 5 Slayer. I can go and kill Abyssal Demons. I'm not going to finish this task just yet. Going to head straight there. I will be ranging them. I'm about a mil XP off 99. So it'd be nice to continue working on that. And let's see if we can get lucky on a whip. Hey, there we go. That is 99 range. Another 250 league points. I've killed 181 Abyssal Demons so far. It's actually pretty slow going. No sign of the whip just yet. Well, that is an extremely rare drop and completely useless. I think it's 1 in 6k. Oh boy, I've, I've killed over 512 of these now, so over the rate for the whip. Very slow going on the kills. Hopefully get the whip soon. Oh my goodness, Dragon Spear, that is so rare. Um, I've not given an update on my kills in a while. As you can see, I'm up to over 20 mil ranged XP. Uh, see if I can open the log. In total, I think it's just over 1,400 kills now. Very, very dry and slightly regretting camping these as it's taking up a lot of my time off task. This guy's just left his whip on the floor, teasing the noobs. I'm 1,800 KC dry. Unfortunately, this is gonna be the end of the video. I had hoped to get the whip before finishing up, but I've just been here such a long time and it's been a while since I released the last video. I just wanna get this one out to give you an insight into how many I have now killed. We're up to 2,000 Abyssal Demons on the dot, nearly four times the drop rate of the whip. Honestly, next episode, I don't know if I'm just gonna go back to Slayer, maybe finish up 
uh, 25 million ranged XP and then switch over to melee with the uh, rune scimitar this has really really slowed me down I have to say um, I'm not sure I made the right decision staying here for so long uh, so we'll see I have racked up an awful lot of hard clues and elite clues so maybe we'll do some of those at the beginning of next episode but yeah thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one take care